Behind me is the Jackson Room House. This is the last property still standing from the Black Business District in Tampa. Moses Jackson bought this property in 1901 for his family. He had six rooms. Later, he added more rooms and created a family business that gave African American travelers a place to stay, according to his daughter's testimony, Sarah Jackson Robinson. Ray Charles, James Brown, Nat King Cole, and Martin Luther King Jr. are among the public figures who laid down their suitcases at the Jackson Room House. This house was the only option since blacks weren't allowed to go to other places, Sarah said. The Jackson House Foundation is the legal representative of the property. The foundation partnered with the Tampa History Center and the University of South Florida to provide a renovation plan for the property on November 28, 2023. However, the staff requested another continuance last February. Hyaline Henderson, founder of the Cemetery Society, worries about the downfall of the house. So I think uh, if the renovation had taken place years ago, like it should have when they secured funding for it, uh, a million dollars from Mr. Vinick, a million dollar grant in order to maintain the historic uh, national preservation marker designation that they have. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. I think it was a great idea. But in looking at it today, mm -hmm. we get a strong wind and we all hold our breath that it's going to fall down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure how much restoration can be done to save it. Raul, a Tampa resident, is shocked when he learned about the history behind this old house. And, uh, I've been in the city for about, almost 40 years, not quite, but uh, I had no idea of the history of this house. But now that you've kind of opened me to an enlightenment, that, this is a big deal about this house. There's a lot of stuff that I even talk about to older brothers and to the few younger people that are willing to listen is that we can't forget about our culture and history from where we've come from. It just seems like as far as a major look in society, we've, at, least the youth, at least the youth have forgotten the, the hard times and struggles that a lot of black people had to go through just to make sure you could have it maybe slightly less hard, man. And that part, but so this information you've given me is kind of open to light to me because it. Dr. Callen Collins, chairwoman of the board of the Jackson House Foundation, underlines the reason of the delay. She said, not all the specifics have been finalized. Details have yet to be worked out between 717 parkings and the foundation, the Tampa Bay Time reported. The Jackson Room House was the number one item on the February 15 agenda. This item remained on the regular council agenda for the next council meeting. Bob, Simon, back to your studio.